This Vienna conference in late October is the first one held by the UN nuclear watchdog that focuses on small nuclear reactors, known as SMRs. Rafael Mariano Grossi, the director of the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, says less developed countries have signed deals to build the SMRs that will give them nuclear power for the first time. The small and modular reactors, one of the most promising, exciting and necessary technological developments that we have had coming for quite a long time, but that we know now that are, is going to be a reality. This year, Ghana and South Africa signed deals with firms to build their first SMRs. Others are already operating in China and Russia, and others are set to be built in Argentina, Canada, Britain and the United States. But what are SMRs and how can they help the less wealthy countries access nuclear power? SMRs are miniature nuclear power plants with an electricity output about one third that of regular nuclear plants. They're cheaper because of their smaller size and because they're factory built. They require less upfront investment, making it more affordable for smaller economies to get nuclear power. Modular parts make the small reactors easier to alter and upgrade and less expensive to maintain. Experts say because of these things, SMRs have the potential to transform economies. We need instant solution to address the energy security. As you know, that energy is the center of the economy. So this energy scarcity or the energy challenges that are faced in Africa, it it's, it's kills our economy. But critics argue that countries should focus on renewable energies such as wind and solar, which don't carry the environmental risk of nuclear power and don't produce radioactive waste. Ed Lyman, director of nuclear safety at the Union of Concerned Scientists, warns SMRs don't benefit from the same economies of scale as larger nuclear power plants. He says his analysis of one company's SMR shows customers can end up paying five times more when compared to larger plants for the electricity they produce. Because of the higher generation costs, he says, operators might have to limit expenses and run a higher safety risk. There's um, just too much pressure uh, to, uh, to cut costs in other ways, for instance, by uh, uh, reducing the number of operators Lyman also said a strong independent national regulator is essential for avoiding nuclear incidents and that it's not always clear how SMR deals will be financed. Henry Wilkins, VOA News.